What's up, everybody? Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 discussion, and I'm just gonna shoot right for the heart, my Luma wallet, <laughs> and we're gonna be talking about the Seal of Ori Chalcos and where does it fit in with the current game. Now, first, let's look at the Seal of Ori Chalcos. Now, of course, I won't be able to actually show you what I'm looking at due to the fact that my webcam that I normally use for these things it doesn't work with my laptop's operating system so I'm gonna just read you the card um... they just recently uh... um... uh... uh put up the actual uh... card description of the seal of Ori Chalcos and uh... Yes, so we're going to take a look at it and we're going to talk about it. So, the Seal of Ori Chalcos, uh, field spell card. The description reads, When this card is activated, destroy all special summon monsters you control. You cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck. All monsters you control gain 500 attack. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Wow, you control two or more face-up attack position monsters. Your opponent cannot select the monster with the lowest attack uh, you control as an attack target. Each player can only use the effect of the Seal of Ori Chalcos once per duel. So, now for me, every time I see that once per duel. Uh, phrase that uh, to me most of the time just means that it wouldn't make any sense to run any more than only just one of them you know since you're only going to be able to use it once per duel anyway you might as well only try to you know uh, like, uh, save yourself the extra room in your main deck without the trouble um let's see what else so all the monsters you control gain 500 attack it's a 500 attack boost that's good um however when you activate this thing you have to destroy all the special summon monsters you control and then after that you can't special summon any monsters from your extra deck so that right there is pretty much like when this card really comes into play you know when you activate it now even though you know once it's activated you won't be able to special summon any monsters from your extra deck like the the big factor is when you activate it and all your monsters are destroyed you know like whether well, all of your special summon monsters are destroyed and uh... this is regardless if they came from the extra deck or not so that right there can be an issue for some people you know because in this current game it's hard to find well not hard but you hardly see any deck that doesn't revolve around special summons you know because the way the game is now it's like you would want to gain field advantage at some level with your monsters and that involves special summoning you want you, you want to get as many monsters on the field as you possibly can you know in order to attack and defeat your opponent under normal circumstances of course but um yeah uh like the biggest question with this is where does a card like this fit in like what type of deck would this work best with well obviously this is one of those cards that seems to that would seem to work better with like an older build I would say that doesn't necessarily rely on too many special summons not to say that you can't have a deck like this with the seal of oil charcoals in it but
it's one of those things that you really want to be careful of you know like you have to be aware that this card will destroy all your special summon monsters now you don't have to activate it of course you don't have to activate it but it's still that one factor that makes it iffy because what if you're in a position and you need to special summon a monster from your extra deck so like because of the seal of Ori Chalcos and it prevents you from special summoning from the extra deck I would say that this isn't a good you know like that's one of the type of builds that you don't wanna use along with this card because if you're running a deck that utilizes the extra deck you know with exceeds fusion summons or synchros you know regardless which one it prevents you from doing any of that um... yeah so as far as the decks I would say that work best with it uh, so I mean it looks like we're gonna have to do like the process of elimination so you don't want to use this with any, you don't want to really use this with any builds that focus on the extra deck now this is if we're going to use this card you know uh, to its uh, maximum potential um, you don't want to use this with any cards that involve the extra deck. Um, I would say this is one of those cards that you would want to focus on builds that uh, tribute summon. So I'm thinking that the uh, uh, like the frog monarchs or the frog narts. Who is this? Hold on, I hear the phone ring. Oh, that's nobody. Um, yeah, but like the frog monarchs, like this would probably work good in there because you know, like you have to uh, attribute some in the monarchs, so they won't be affected by the whole when this card is activated uh, destroy all special summon monsters you control that's if you have you know like a bunch of uh, tribute summon monarchs on your side of the field um, I would say Give me a sip of this. Uh. Yeah. Um. Now, what else they got out there? <clears throat> um. I want to say the steel swarms. I mean, not the steel swarms. Um. But the uh, <clears throat> oh man, that was embarrassing. Uh, the evil swarms, uh, formerly known as as the Vers. I w I want to see them because I know that one of them have the effect that that you know you can normal summon like um. Uh, like monsters in addition to it being normal summon uh, the same thing uh, with the constellers uh, man and I mind you that I'm just brainstorming here on cam, so yeah, like you're getting this live and direct. <laughs> um, like, what other kind of decks this card would work good with? 
like I said, if you're going to use this card to its maximum potential, to, to where it won't really backfire on you. Um, so we already have though, okay, that you don't want to use this with any cards that uh, specialize in special summoning monsters from the extra deck because that uh, summoning restriction will hurt you if you have a deck that is very very um, reliant so, so you don't want to use this with like uh, any elemental heroes builds not saying that it can't be done I'm just saying you know if you're going to use it to its maximum efficiency then you only want to you know you don't want to use this with no extra decks uh... Hmm. well mind you that you can special summon after just not from the extra deck so I would think that if you have you know like a good hand and then you activate this card it can either turn into like a help or a hindrance to you because we, if you activate this card and you have like some special summon monsters on your, on your side of the field on the butcher trying to get something else out man that this is a doozy I don't know like I'm gonna have to go to dueling network and I'm gonna have to uh, let's try to uh, construct some some builds around this to see what is what I already have one build in mind that this card that, that this card might work good with no I'm not gonna give it away <laughs> but you know like I have one or two builds in mind that this card can work good with because you can only use the effect of a seal or a chalcos once per duel so it's like you can only use this damn thing once hmm I don't know see this is why I uh, like do these Yu-Gi-Oh 101 uh, discussion videos you know just to open up some discussion because this is actually um, like actually like a good question what builds do you think this card would would work best with you know so, so I'm gonna just leave it open for discussion because I like, my mind is just all over the place with this card um, yeah like, like I probably wouldn't run no more than one I like that's the way my mind works every time I see that you know each player or you know you can only use the effect of so and so only once per duel like to me th that only says only use one that way I don't have to worry about um, drawing multiple copies of that card since I'm only able to use it once anyway it wouldn't make no sense to me to have multiple copies of it uh, that's how my mind works but um yeah like this is one of those videos that I'm gonna really just toss in the air and I'm really just gonna leave up to you guys I'm gonna leave the uh, link to the Silvory Chalcos in the in the video description so you guys can take a look at the effect for yourselves and uh from there we're just gonna you know have a discussion so that's gonna be it for this episode and uh I'll see you guys for another Yu-Gi-Oh! one-on-one -on -one discussion so let's talk amongst each other what decks do you think this card would work best with um, I don't really think the card is all that good <laughs> truth be told but like one thing that probably comes into my mind like in terms of like something is that you use mind control on a special summon monster on, on your opponent side of the field or pretty much any card that is mind control esque where you can take a card from your opponent's side and bring it to your side of the field and then you activate this and the monster gets destroyed 
that's one trick that comes to mind but yeah other than that n nothing else really just comes off the top of the head so um yeah we're gonna leave this open for discussion and uh i'm gonna end the video here so see you guys for another Yu-Gi-Oh 101 video and uh let's have a discussion peace